morning everybody welcome back to Perth if you're feeling low today we're gonna make you happy because we're going to find the world's happiest animal we're jumping on the swan and we're heading to Rock Nest Island for a little fun in the sun today see you later Perth welcome to Rock Nest Island everybody Bubs I just love how yesterday's video was us in snowy Japan true and now we're in like 31 degree beautiful weather in Perth so welcome to Roto Rottnest Island, a lot of you guys probably know this place because of the famous quokka, so we'll go find one, but we're going for a little walk right now to the lighthouse. Because it's, it's a beautiful beach there. It's a really nice beach and we'll probably go for a little bit of a swim. Which is nice, our first swim of summer. Yeah. Oh, you can go on the little paddle boats. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be funny. <laughs> The sand is so warm here. Rottnest has so many beautiful bays. It honestly gets better than this. But if this is like one of the good ones, but still not the best, you just wait till we show you the better bays. Guys, this is our favorite bay here on Rottnest Island. It's the one next to the lighthouse. And this is so beautiful, the water's also quite nice and you've got some reef there as well so make sure you hire some snorkels if you decide to come out here. Woohoo! Oh, so nice out here. <laughs> in the world it's the one thing when someone says you travel so much what's the one thing that like you don't get impressed by and if someone takes us to their beach like just here in Thailand or somewhere and, like this is the best beach in Thailand you look at you like nah Australia does have the best beaches in the world <laughs> something behind these rocks. Alrighty, that looks fun to climb. I'll see if I can try and sneak up on Jess. Maybe a little bit too shallow to jump. But I see there's like another bay over there. Guys, I don't know if you follow us on Instagram, but we found the best feature last night at dinner. Stephen was having fun on good old Instagram, and he posted this picture while we were at the restaurant. And the restaurant has reshared the Instagram story. <laughs> That's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> you see it? So the feature is you can like put your face into it, so it make Jess look like the deep fried squid. <laughs> But we've come up for a coffee right on the beach. It's a beautiful day, I by the way, guys. Coffee, uh, this is what happened. Weren't you a trained barista, by the way? It's been too long since I've made a coffee, I guess. Hey, buddy. <laughs> it's trying to steal his baby's food. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a good shot. <laughs> Nice, Joe. <laughs> We've named him. You, Joe. <laughs> hey, Joe. It's kind of cool. This is the only place in the world that you can find quokkas on this random island off the coast of Perth. I think we used to need some classic Australian pies for our day. Guys, the one thing we never miss about coming to Australia is paying for tomato sauce. <laughs> I feel like always. everywhere else in the world you get like they just shove tomato sauce in there. I know. In Australia it's always at 50 cents, sometimes even a dollar. 
This is classic, by the way. Sausage rolls, got your chips, got your barista coffee. Classic Aussie lunch. By the way, how much fun does that look? This guy spotted our chippies. Uh, I can see you, buddy. What are you doing? Jess. Watch out. No, no, no! You better get through this. This happened to me before. Remember in Sydney? <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Rock Nest. Guys, I think I got a little bit sunburned. I did not slip slop slap today. Slip, slop, slap. I am a tomato. This is what happens when we have winter for three months. And then I come back to Australia and I forget how hot it can get here. We need our Hugo fix. And we are literally just around the corner from Ashley and Heidi. I was wondering if we could please have access to our car. Reunited with my best friend. Hey Hugo. Hey buddy. Hey. And we're back in the city. I realized we drove to Ashley and Heidi's house and then they were like, we know this really good burger joint right next to where you guys are staying. So we're like, let's go back. Let's go back. Real good burger joint sounds good. By the way, guys, mum vibes? Me not. Mum vibes? No. It's great because we have no time for kids. So whenever we come home, I just hang out with Hugo and it gets all the clockiness out. Then I'm ready to go away again. Do you want a burger? Yes, to add to the mum vibes, get a little bit of a food baby going, you know? Yeah. We thought, burger joint here, hotel room there. Why eat at the restaurant? We just eat in our hotel room. Yay, hotel party! <laughs> oh, he's he got loves the bottle? Water bottles, yeah. He loves water bottles. <laughs> Wait, is he just using hotel it as a toy? Party. He was waiting for me to finish it and he was squealing. He was like, finish the water! So we're gonna do the best thing ever. We have a burger in our room and we're just people watching because we yeah. realized we got this huge. It's like a hotel floor picnic. <laughs> Yay! Also, I have to oh, try yeah, this. I forgot about this. So we got Coke with coffee in it and uh, it's only for 50 cents, so it so must be great. <laughs> you can try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you dropped it before. Are you ready? I dropped it twice. Oh, gosh. I can just open it. Suspense! You guys can't You go, Hugo, no! <laughs> <laughs> We're not honest, allowed chips yet. I would do the same thing. <laughs> oh, does that's actually it, not too bad. Does it taste like coffee? Yeah, it does. Try it. Oh, I'm actually going to try this one. I didn't try the peach. You stuck up on that dinner. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 50 <laughs> cents. We were like good for the next week. Like, it's, it's not too bad. It's better than the peach coke we had in Japan. What's your face? That's so weird. It tastes like Coke, but then once you finish, if you breathe out of your nose... I saw you do that, and I was like, what are you doing? It tastes like iced coffee. That's weird, I don't like it. You don't like it? I'll have you it. You can have that. <laughs> oh, that giggle is so cute. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if it's too dark to vlog. I think it might be. Alrighty guys, I'm not too sure if you can see me, or you can kind of see me. So, we've got our snacks. Next. And we loved the outdoor cinema so much that we have come back to Kings Park and we are seeing Downsizing, which is that movie with Matt Damon where they all shrink. It looks okay. <laughs> I was like, well, it was the only thing on and I was like, let's go do it. So we've gone to do that, but it was so nice to see Ashley and Heidi again and um, little Hugo. <laughs> I am like obsessed with him. But oh, anyway. The cinema allows you to sneak in snacks. Yeah, you're allowed to bring your own snacks. Yeah. And you're allowed to bring your own like wine and beer and stuff here, which is pretty cool. But yeah, let's go watch the movie. Like Bobby, we're late. I know we're late. It's probably already started, but oh well. Guys, we just realized we had the most special Moonlight Cinema screening. So right at the end of the movie, we noticed that the moon was going red and then it started looking like it was a lunar eclipse. And I was like, what? And then we Googled and we found out that, especially in WA, it was a really special night. So we had, I Googled it, a super blue blood moon. So three things were happening at once to the moon and it looked so cool. So first thing was that the moon will be- Whoa, wait. Fun facts with, with Jess. 
<laughs> so yeah, a super blue blood moon. So the super bit is that the moon will be at its closest point to the Earth and therefore will appear bigger in the sky, making it a super moon. It's also a blue moon, which means that it is the second appearance of a full moon in a month. So I guess a month usually only has one full moon. This is a second one in January. So that's the blue bit. And then the red bit is that on top of that, astronomers are predicting a total lunar eclipse. And that is what we saw when the moon will pass through the Earth's shadow. This will make the moon appear blood colored for several hours. So we literally saw a gigantic red moon and suddenly it went into shadow. And now there's like an outside going crazy. And I was like, what? This is crazy. How special is that? Mm -hmm. We tried to film it. It didn't really work, but I'm sure if you Google online, people would have put um, photos and stuff. But we Googled and they said one of the best advantage points to see it is Kings Park. In the world. In the world. And we were in Kings Park, just happened to be watching a movie there. Probably the only time I would have preferred to be in Perth, to be honest. That's right. Very so that was cool. really cool. But anyway, we're in the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new around here, hit subscribe. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye! A little